welcome. I'm back, baby. I'm back, and I'm here with a co-host of mine, a very special co-host, Box Waters, and oh yeah, that's me. Also, my co-host slash audio engineer, the Doc. Yeah, and I, ha, ah, I saved the best for last this week. I am the host. The one and only, the Mantis, the man. I am here for all of you, Mantis, me. And you're listening to the Mantis Show. How convenient. What a great name choice. Guys, this this week, I, I've I've had a mixed week of 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 atrocities and just wonderment that's that's filled my life. But before I get to any of that, first thing I want to talk about, something that's relevant. Doc, you're you're one of these people. It's it's actually really funny that uh, but before the show, Doc Doc was going through and he he was learning. He can Doc can pick up an instrument or Doc can pick up a, a keyboard, you know, to a to a computer and have up an audio program. And he can learn. He can learn a song. He can just learn a song. He can he can listen to it for a few minutes and then replicate it. He doesn't have to Google. He doesn't have to go to guitar, get guitar, guitar tabs. tabs. Yeah, he doesn't, he, he, doesn't, yeah. he doesn't have to do any of that. All it takes, all it takes is for him to get behind a computer or an instrument and to hear someone else who has has poured their creativity in, in their heart and soul into making a piece of music and he can fucking replicate it. He doesn't need the, these people spend tons of hours on on, you know, tens and hundreds of hours on making these albums and making these wonderful tunes. And Doc, he does it like it's fucking nothing. He can just pick right up on it and just 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 replicate anything. Mozart could be like, "Hey, watch this! I've spent my entire life making this 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 orchestral piece right here." And Doc's like, "Oh well, give me give me like thirty seconds, and I can play the I mean, first." I, I, I wouldn't say I'm that good. I, I, I can I can quickly learn things by ear. Well, I am. I am a, I won't call myself a top autist, but definitely an autist, apparently. Well, you know what I'd call you? I'd call you a virtuoso, okay? A virtuoso. These, a virtuoso, and it's something that pisses me the hell off. I'm the songbird of a generation. <laughs> well, I, well, I'm the voice of a generation. Box, what are what are you? I'm, I'm just Box. He's the box of a generation. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. The, th- the three... People of a generation have come together and they've conjoined to make a podcast that 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 will the forever best change. Podcast in the generation of a generation. The podcast of a generation. But these virtuosos, unlike myself, okay, I can't pick up a guitar, and it, it, it just pisses me off because these people. There, there's a lot of people that I know. They're I'll be like, oh hey man, yeah, how long have you played guitar? I'm like, oh, I've, I've played for about ten years. Yeah, I've played for a long, long time. Everyone's always played for a really long time. You never just say, you never find anybody good or at least even half decent. You know, got a guy over here picking a G chord and you're like, oh, how long have you played guitar? Oh, 30 years. Oh, well, that's great, dude, because you're like 12 years old. But but <laughs> it, it, it's always the same story. It's always the same thing. Every, they, oh, well, uh, how did you learn, man? Oh, I, I went into my room and I just locked myself in there by myself just for for like two years. And made zero progress, and then one day I just got it. I'm like, okay, you come to tell me that that you alone taught yourself. These people give themselves too much credit. They 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 act like I'm like, how am I supposed to how am I supposed to believe that you came to the same conclusion, the, the same you you constructed the same music theory as, as all these other people, and you just so happen to be like, yeah, this is this looks like it should be called called a. Uh, uh, an E, an E. Yeah, this is an E chord right here. Yeah, that's, yeah, I'm going to call it that. You just came to the same conclusion as everyone else? I mean, I'm sure they, you know, people like, they have the internet now, so they're like, I'll learn the chords, and then the rest of them, you know, the rest of that they got to figure out themselves, because Yeah, but they know, never say that. They never say that. They say, oh, I just, I ta- it doesn't sound I, as good. I taught myself. Well, see, my whole thing is, I, I bought my first roll six string uh, down to the five and dime, uh, I played it till my fingers bled. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Johnny Cash. We got Brian Adams. And I went to prison for two years. <laughs> yeah. I went to. I found Jesus, and and then I immediately sold my soul to the devil and to learn to play guitar because I found out about the devil via Jesus. So that, that that it's always the same exact thing. And I've tried it. I've tried. It. I've. I actually have a guitar for dummies book. You remember those? Yeah. It, when's the last time you saw a guitar, uh, uh, anything for dummies book? 
It has been a while. I, I, I have one of are those. Are people getting more intelligent? Do we, do we not have dummies anymore? Or? No, no, no. I it's know just it because is. people you are too dumb to read it. No, yeah, that's you don't not know. They is. don't know what that's they don't what, know. What it is, is, in this day and age, if you put a book out called for dummies, it'd be offensive. And uh, it, would, it would hurt the tender, the tender souls of all these people who are being called dummies. That makes sense. So they just they gave up on it. Just, guitar for people who are. Special, gifted. <laughs> yeah, you know, guitar for the gifted. <laughs> yeah, it's got like a gift inside a color coded chord chart with a like a yeah. <laughs> See, it, the, t- speaking of virtuosos, it got me thinking. I was like, you know, there are some things that that people may teach that, that they may be self taught at, and then there are some things that no one really knows if they taught themselves or they they never really remember anyone teaching them how to do it, like a computer, for example. When, who taught, how do I know how to, how to work a, a Windows computer? I have no idea where I learned to do some of the things that I do. I'm like, oh, I just know to go here. I know, oh, I'll click on control panel because I want to try to install this fucking printer. Which actually, you know what? I'm going to take that back. No one knows how to fucking yeah. install a printer. <laughs> Not and, a printer. And, bad example. Bad example. Okay. But I get what you're saying. I totally agree. Yeah, I have it, no idea how I figured all that shit out. Yes. It's it's like you're born with the knowledge. It's, like it's like there's a genetic knowledge that was passed down from your parents to you, but your parents weren't aware that they had the genetic knowledge because they're always calling you and saying, hey, 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 um, I messed up something. How do I unclick? How do I unclick? <laughs> and and the, that's uh, there was a guy that sent me an email and said that he would there were hot local single girls in my area and I just needed to give him my social security number so he could t- he could tell me exactly where to find them. Yeah. And. You'll never believe in a Nigerian prince emailed me today. It's exactly. Thing. <laughs> you know, they say the first the first spam message was sent via telegraph in like 18, 18 something. Yeah. <laughs> 18 something. Google it. Google yeah. it. Yeah. I have a one thing you'll find about me is I have a I like to say my brain is filled with metadata. I don't know exact. I don't know exact specifics on everything, but I know a little bit about Pretty much everything, and I can point you in the right direction. I can say, you can say, hey, hey, my my ass itches. My ass itches really, really bad. It's it's unsightly. It has an odor that protrudes through my pants. I've double layered my underwear to try to keep it from seeping out from between my from betwixt my cheeks. And my my ass itches. It's terrible. What do I do about it? And I could say, hey, there's a cream for that. I don't know what brand. I don't, I don't know where you can find it, but there's a, there there is a cream for that. I know. I just know that there <laughs> is. The, you just know the general the generalities of of knowledge. I've I've got the gist of it. Yeah. Okay. I've got the gist of just about anything you need to know. That's where some of my special talents come in. And you would think that being the person that I am and having all this meta knowledge, that there would be certain things that. I found it extremely important to kind of store in my, my data bank here. Okay. My NSA data bank, the, all the knowledge I've collected from all of you people and I've aggregated into one single hive mind conglomerate spongy piece of tissue inside of my skull. But I did something stupid this week, guys. I did something you know, I said at the beginning of the show that this has been a week of ups and downs. It's been a roller coaster ride for me. Got to see a lot of family that I haven't seen in a while. Live far away, came into town. It was wonderful. Got to see them. But the down, the downside, one is that I didn't get a lot of sleep. And I'm the normal average Joe. I've got a job like everyone else. I I have to work. I got to work for a living. But this, I don't know if it was I was so tired or if I was just, I I don't know. I had a, I had a, I had a lapse in my judgment. And this, this lapse in judgment, I don't know. It could end up maybe being a positive eventually. But I, 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 I haven't quite figured out how yet. Maybe maybe this lapse in judgment will get me out of ever having to do laundry ever again. I messed up, guys. I okay. Messed, I messed up bad. You hear you hear most stories about men that they they're not allowed to use the dishwasher anymore because they put regular dish soap in it and it overflowed with bubbles. Oh, yeah. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, easy, easy to get over with. No, no harm, no foul. Let's not cry. Let's not cry over spilled milk. Yeah, because the spilled milk was inside of a dishwasher. It'll wash right down the drain. This this is not like that. So I was doing laundry. I was doing laundry. And I, I can't say that I haven't done this before. I, I, I've done this before. 
but never to the scale that I did it this time. And I don't know, I kind of upped my ratio. Let's say I upped my ratio of ingredients that I put into uh, this washing machine. So I've got these, um, these special sleeves that I got to wear at my job. Okay. They protect me. They're yeah. made of, they're Kevlar sleeves and they get really fucking filthy. They get so filthy that I'm like, I'm going to come up with my own mantis special blend, this concoction that's going to, that's going to get the, soak the mantis sweat out of it and get the grease out of it. And it's going to make these clean as a whistle, clean as a whistle. Ding! It's going to be amazing. Fantastic. So I, I throw them in, I throw them into my washing machine. I turn it on hot. I pour some dishwashing liquid down in there. And then I pour a metric fuck ton of bleach, fuck ton of bleach into this. And I go to go upstairs, go to go upstairs, plug my phone in, go upstairs to my bedroom. And I'm like, Oh wait, I forgot one thing. I run into my cabinet. I grab a big ass bottle of cleaning vinegar and I pour like two cups in this fucking thing. Oh no. Pour it in there and I run upstairs and I'm up there and I'm plugging my phone in and brushing my teeth. And then all of a sudden my dog's downstairs. She's, she's barking. She's going frantic. I'm thinking some, I'm thinking there's an intruder coming in the house. And then little did I know I come downstairs and there's, there's a dense fog Oh, a dense, a dense fuck. fog covering the entire downstairs of my house. My fiance, she, I'm taking too long. I'm like, what the, what the fuck's going on? I'm trying to figure this out. I don't know what the hell's happening at this point. I'm like, what, what's going on? She says, what's going on down there? I'm like, I oh, have no, nothing, nothing. It's, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I've, there's nothing, nothing's happening. The dog's just being silly. She doesn't know what's happening. So I'm panicking. I run into the laundry room and I open up and I'm like this. I, I, there's a real dense chemically smell in the air. It's it's like burning my eyes and my throat starting to swell up. And I open up the the fucking lid of the washing machine. I've got one of those stupid ones where you got to hold down the button. It's got the lock, yeah. so it takes extra time. And I'm like, God, are you stupid son of a? Bitch. And I open it, and then a cloud, a, a fucking mushroom cloud, comes out from inside of my washing machine. And that's the point I knew I fucked up. Oh my god, did that, you like make mustard gas? Or I something? made fucking chlorine gas, aka mustard gas. Oh my god. Okay. It, for for those of you that don't know, that's what they fucking killed people with in World War One. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. I I am on a battlefield. I run oh upstairs. I run upstairs. I say, I I Google it real quick. I type vinegar bleach. It says toxic deadly mustard gas. You're going to die. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> My fiance says, do we, do we need to get out of the house? I'm like, we need to leave now. Okay, so oh. I grab my cat. I'm in my underwear. I'm in a bright ass red pair of underwear. I run outside. I run outside. I have a cat and my cat hates outside. He's clawing the shit out of me and I fucking toss him in my car gently and I shut my door. She has the dog. She's out there and I've I, she's freaking out. I've got to go back in. Yeah, I've got to go back. I got to fix this. So I run in, I'm like a, I'm like a, not to compare myself to, to heroes, not to 100% compare my situation, but this is as close as you're going to get to being in world war one. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I'm crawling out of a, out of a trench. I've got trench foot, my foot's soggy. My toes are like, they, they've got some fungus growing on them and I'm heading into no man's land. Okay. With all the mustard gas canisters that, that the, the Germans can throw at me. Okay. Oh my God. And, and I'm trying to hold my breath. I don't have a gas mask. And I'm running in here. My eyes are watering and I open up every fucking window and I, it takes me an extra five minutes to find my fan. And, and then I realized, oh my God, it's just this chemical reaction that I've created. This, uh, this marvel of science, this, 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 and this thing that people probably died inventing and figuring, discovering, should I say, I'm just letting, it's carrying on in the laundry room right now. I, I never did anything to stop it. <laughs> I didn't do anything to fix it. So I have to run back in there. I'm closing my eyes and I'm trying to ground hit. Ground zero. And yeah, I'm, I'm heading. I'm at ground zero right here. Okay. Ex, 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 exposure level 100. And I'm closing my eyes because it burns so bad. And I'm trying to hit drain and rinse. And then I'm like, oh, what, 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 what are you doing? Your eyes are closed, man. You you don't know your way around your house that well to where you can press fucking digital buttons with your eyes closed. So open my eyes and they're burning and I hit drain and rinse and I run outside. And I'm like, <sighs> I can't breathe. I, I can hardly breathe. Oh my There's God. There's not a breath left in me. And 
What, what, what does anybody do in that situation? Hospital, I guess. You call your mother. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first it's the first thing you do. Yeah. Okay. She was one of the, the family members that was uh that was coming in, coming in to visit me. And you know what? She wasn't fucking there. You weren't there, mom. I called her five or six times. She didn't answer. So what do you do after that? You call fucking poison control. Yeah. I call poison control. And I get a very, I, I get a, I, I get a woman who answers the phone. He sounds like she didn't graduate high school. Oh God. She sounds like she didn't graduate high school. She's very unconvincing. And, and whenever she's telling me these things, she's, I'm like, Hey, um, yeah. Uh, basically give you the gist of the conversation. Am I going to die? No, no, honey. Uh, so how you feeling? I'm like, well, I'm, I'm dizzy. I feel like I'm about to fall over and pass out and I can't breathe. My throat's swelling up and about to burst with pain. I'm sure in a minute it's going to start bleeding and I can't breathe. My nostrils are, are burnt. I have no sense of taste. Does that, does that answer your question? She said, oh, well, you'll be fine. I guess. Yeah. She said, well, did you air out the house? I'm like, no, I'm still in the house. (laughs) <laughs> no, but I'm staying, I'm breathing it in. She tells me. And, and then, you know, after, after she kind of has me, she has me convinced that, okay, I'm not going to die. I'm like, okay, what about my animals? They, they, they breathed it for, they didn't get it as bad as me, but they had it for maybe half the time as I did, which I had it for a long time. So that says something. She said, well, did you get them out of the house? I'm like, no, nah, bitch. I just, <laughs> I, I just left them. I just fucking left them in there. Like, take care of yourselves. I'm sure you, you know, chemistry, these dogs, I'm sure dogs and cats are immune to mustard gas, right? Yeah. No, I fucking, they were the first goddamn things I grabbed before I grabbed pants. Okay. I ran outside in my underwear in a, in a, in a, in a frantic panic. So she tells me, I'm like, so what do I, what do I do to, to fucking fix myself? What? I can't, I can't breathe lady. She's like, oh, well just take a hot shower, hot, steamy shower. Like, wow. <laughs> I'm like, what if I just got out of the shower? I don't want to take another. What? Uh, maybe, maybe you working at the fucking poison control can afford a goddamn water bill of $600 from taking two goddamn showers right in a row, but I can't. <laughs> and so anyways, I got a phone with her after about 15 minutes of, of just question after question after question, you know, so what, what are you wearing? No, <laughs> no, but, but then I'm, 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 I'm kind of smooth though, where I'm like, all right, not going to die. I come to the conclusion. I'm like, you know what? If mustard gas, if it took this long to work, then so many people wouldn't have died in world war one. They could have just held their breath, ran all the way across the battlefield, took a couple sips of mustard gas and then been, you know, then jumped down in a hole, dug a hole, stuck their head in it and breathed some dirt filtered air and they'd have been fine. So I'm like, you know what? I'm all right. I'm all right. But my fiance, oh, she said, you know what? That bitch sounds dumb. I want you to call back. And I'm like, you know what? I'm second guessing myself. I feel like, you know what? Maybe, maybe, maybe she's just, she's coaxing me. She's saying, yeah, when, you know, you know, when they're, you got the person on the deathbed, don't worry. It's not going to hurt. Yeah. <laughs> don't worry. You're going to be all right. You're going to be just fine. You're going to be just, you're going to be just fine. That's what she's, uh, that's, I started second guessing and thinking maybe this is what's happening. And, and on top of that, I feel like shit because my fiance's like, you could have killed us. Oh no. What, yeah. What if, just like a woman. Yeah. Just like a woman. What, what if we had went to sleep and then we had just passed in our sleep? I'm like, you know, I'm like, you know what? You're right. I'm a total piece of shit. Thank you. Now on top of my eyes puffing out of my, the eye sockets and swelling shut and my throat feeling like I just, I just got skull fucked by a, a fucking queen bee. It, it, I am just, I'm, I'm overcome with guilt. With fucking guilt, as if me being being white didn't didn't allow me to have enough guilt. I have the guilt of almost killing my fiance oh and my, my animals. God. So so I decide I'm like you know what, I, I see where you're coming from. I am a piece of shit, and I deserve to be second guessed. Let's call let's call let's call mom back first and yeah. see what she has to say. She doesn't answer, so let's give poison control another try. I get another lady. I said and she sounded just like the first one. Oh god, sounded just like the first one. And I said, I don't know if you're the lady that I called just before, but I'm the guy that filled up his fucking house with chlorine gas. And she's like, oh, no, let, you were talking to uh, Sandy. Let me transfer. I'm like, no, 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 you're fine. You're fine. 
I need a second opinion. Let's let, let's go with you. You're you're fine. The price is right for you today. You come on down. Yeah. I'm Bob Barker in this bitch. I'm reeling her in, and I'm can fully convinced by this woman. She says yes. Well, um, chlorine gas that that was actually referred to as mustard gas in World War One. It's the same exact thing used by. Oh, that's that's already good. That's, uh, already, I'm like, all right. Either this bitch has got she's got fucking she's either got a history book or Wikipedia pulled up, or she's just she just knows what she's talking about. So I go, I, I go with the uh, the latter, of course, just because I'm, if I'm going to die, I'm going to die optimistic. And she's like, well, you know, um, you mixed vinegar and bleach. That's an acid in a base. And she's like, it ionizes the chlorine in it and it creates chlorine gas. Oh, she definitely knows. She what knows. She's yeah. this, this bitch has got a PhD and save your ass from, from poisoning yourself. <laughs> and anyways... She's uh, she's telling me she's like, you know, had it been ammonia, this would have been a different a different case. But vinegar is it's not as bad. It's not as volatile of a reaction when you mix these two together. She said, but don't do it again. It's not good. Don't do it. Yeah. And after it, at this point, I've got to be up for work at 4 a.m. It's midnight. It's midnight. My, my house is still airing out and I'm I'm still in my underwear. Just standing outside in my driveway, walking around, talking to poison control for literally 15 minutes. The second conversation was, and I was like, well, what can I, can I still use, can I still use the clothes that are in there? Are they, are they okay? Are (laughs) are my clothes going to be okay? Are they poisoned? She's like, no, no, just, just wash them again. So I ran those motherfuckers through the the washing machine probably 10 times already. And I'm, 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 I'm still probably going to throw them out. Oh my God. Anyways, that's my fuck up for the week. That and, and that was crazy, and it has continued. And, and this fuck up has haunted me for the past. This happened probably like two two days ago, and my throat, my throat is so fucked up. And my my I I feel like I have the worst allergies in the world. My nose has been running. My eyes are itchy and like dry feeling, and my throat feels like I have strep. Feels oh like I have God. strep throat. I have chemical burns, and. I've, I've I've found I found in my experience of telling telling my coworkers about this that I should maybe lead off with I accidentally mixed bleach and vinegar not yeah I can't talk a lot today I have chemical burns in my throat because they're automatically they're thinking I'm I'm in I'm Breaking Bad over here <laughs> <laughs> I'm Breaking Bad and I'm mixing Drano and gasoline and getting some nice crystal meth yeah and I didn't even think of that yeah that's the first thing they're, they're like what are you are you Mantis are you are you making drugs I'm, I'm like yeah yeah I'm fucking making drugs I'm making the kind of drugs that that you skip the the fun part of being high as a kite and it just kills you immediately that's yeah. the drugs that I'm making so pretty <laughs> much heroin Pre- pretty much yeah crocod- crocodile crocodile what whatever it's called yeah it is, yeah god oh my god that's crazy Jesus Christ anyways so I want to get on to mansplaining mansplaining is a segment where we take items or 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 subjects or anything in general that you think you know everything about in your daily life. You think you've encountered them enough times to where you're pretty familiar with them. You think you know just about all there is to know, but you don't. You don't. You don't have the fucked up perspective that that we, as a, as a trio, as a collective have. You don't see it through the same lens as we do, and we're going we're gonna to enlighten you on a few things. This week, I'd like to talk about fans. Like, like fans... Fans of a podcast, you're like fans. No, as in no, rotating, like, cooling. Right, that that okay, kind, okay. The, that kind, the the kind of fans like ceiling fans or or fans in a car, or just just desk fans. Fans are they're 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 so the, the the main objective of a fan is to cool you. It's a cooling device, right? Yeah. And it's probably one of it's it's probably the worst one that I can think of. Oh That's yeah, designed definitely. specifically for it. So why why is it that I, I just I just don't understand the, the popularity of fans. I don't understand how we haven't gotten far past far beyond that yet. OK, if you look at if you look at computers, Apple has taken the initiative to say eliminate the floppy disk drive. It's 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 a, it's an old ancient technology. We don't need it anymore. Yeah, we don't need it anymore. And we've moved on to bigger and better things. So with fans, we we've we've also moved on to bigger, better things like air conditioning systems. We've moved on to air conditioning systems, and we no longer need we no longer need fans. Yes, you do. No, no, we don't. I I, I completely fucking disagree with you. 
Because look, there, if you look at fans, for example, for example, here here's one of my favorite here's one of my favorite ones to bitch about to mansplain about. Look at the, for example, the what about the fan in your bathroom? Okay, the fart fan, one right above, right above yeah. your bathroom. I'm pretty sure it does nothing. It does absolutely yeah, nothing. Now that that I will agree with that that does nothing. I, I proved it. You know, I used to um, I, I used to vape, bro. <laughs> I was all about my vape, my vapor devices. Chucking clouds, bro. Yeah, I, I chucked mad clouds out of my TFV8 dog. So, and I'll test it. I had a theory one day because, you know, one of those times you go and you, you do some work on your bathroom. I don't want to get too much into that, but you do some work. Your bathroom is a is a biohazard scene like like Mantis's house. Yeah, yeah. After, you, after the chlorine gas. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, it, and it just, it was lingering. I was like, you know, I, I feel like this fan's not doing shit. I'm going to test it. So, I hit my sweet vape, bro, and I, I got, I just hit it. I was like, And blew this, I chucked a mad cloud right into the, right on to the fan. Because that's, that's a very, that's something you notice. You could see that get sucked out. Yeah. It barely took any of it out. Exactly. It gets to the point to where it's, it's just a courtesy. It's a common courtesy that all it does is fuck you. All, you being courteous, all it does is fuck you, and it, all it does is signal to whoever goes into the bathroom immediately after you, hey, I just took a massive shit, okay? <laughs> and, I, and I'm not such a piece of shit that I care that it stinks, and I'm, I'm aware that it stinks. I'm self-aware enough to know that my shit stinks, and I don't want anyone else to smell it, but I made the effort to do the only thing that I could have possibly done and turn on this fan. Yeah. It but just, you, you, you were saying, th- this is where I have to disagree with you on fans. You were, you were saying it. Like you were saying, we we've, we've moved on to air conditioning. If if you didn't, a and, and fan, other and other ways of a fan of, of moving distributes air. the air conditioning throughout your house. Yeah, but otherwise what if, you would just be pumping but, freon into. But what nothing. if you have a fan that is attached to a coolant system that cools the air before it sends to you? Because there's well, a, there's that would be great. There's a point. Yeah, it's called an air conditioner. Yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> because there's a point to where it's just pushing hot air around. Oh, I yeah, know all the, about the massive, that. The blow dryer effect. Exactly. Oh my God. That's all that they do. And so if you get to the point to where you, a fan is a necessity and you really, you're at the, you're at the stage of your heat exhaustion to where you really need to be cooled down. A fan is an ineffective choice. Okay. It's probably just going to make it it's worse. It's going to make it worse. It's going to, it's going to blow dry affect you. I, just like, I, I, I mean, I, I'm biased. You're, I have a biased opinion. I, I'll be, I'll be honest about. It. I sleep with a fan. I'm, I'm one of those. I sleep with. I have to sleep with. A, I cannot sleep without one. Right, but so, but, but I'm sure you have a central air conditioning. System well, yeah, and without it, it would be miserable. But tell me, it's not worse. <laughs> to, if any of our listeners are also podcasters, pos, podcasting. Whatever. If they're recording their own podcast and they have like a semi-decent studio like we do, you know, you can't have you can't have fans going. Uh, you know, the walls have sound deadening material. You can't have the AC running because all of that's just going to make an ugly noise. You know, we, we've been there. We've we starting out on this podcast. We went through all the, the troubleshooting. Learning yeah, all if, that. if your podcast is so nice like ours that you have 70 inch flat screens on every single wall, including the ceiling. It, it builds up some heat, right? <laughs> <laughs> He's making that up. So, but you know that stagnant air is worse than moving air. Even if the moving air is 90 degrees, it's still better. It's kind of like, it's kind of also similar to the whole argument of, you know, humid heat or dry heat. Everyone's like, oh yeah, dry heat's better. And yeah, totally is. Yeah. And stagnant air is so, it's humid. It gives you that like almost stuff. Maybe I'm just yeah, fucking but, claustrophobic but, but humor or something. Me here. Humor me here. Okay, the whole point of the fan, as you're saying, is to circulate the air. Yeah, it's just to move Okay, it. so so say we just completely eliminated the circulation of also, air. Also. Right? If we completely eliminated the circulation of air, then, well, if you're in a bathroom, it's the shit smell isn't going to be circulated throughout the whole room. It's going to stay right in the toilet. The source of the humidity is going to be just staying in a contained single little area. Then you get a fan, you blow it around all over the place. And also another thing about fans is they get dusty. And then what happens yeah. to the dust whenever you turn that fan on? It just shoots it all over the place. Yeah, or or even worse, it concretes it. It like it, yeah, it turns I've, I've in, seen that Yeah, it turns into like a, a moss structure. It looks like a structure of moss that growing on a the side of a hill or something. 
and it just sticks on there and you've got to you've got to make the effort of getting a wet rag and wiping oh, it off yeah or using some of that that shitty like uh what, what's it called the pledge lemon pledge Le- lemon pledge the, the lemon pledge and it just greases it up real nice. yeah <laughs> god and dude fans suck fans suck and you know what else about fans something that it may not be a personal belief that i hold but some would argue one might argue one of the uh feminist <laughs> inclination may argue that fans are sexist go on how, how so <laughs> fans are incredibly sexist you if you've ever seen a, a meek japanese woman traditionally um, they're, they're they're it's car- very it's very uh it's very common to see them in dressed in their kimonos they have their their white face paint on that i'm pretty sure is bird shit geisha <laughs> yeah exactly thank you and they they have their little fan. They have a little fan. And they they'll they'll look at the the samurai boys and they'll huh, <laughs> they'll giggle <laughs> and they'll cover their faces to to appear meek and to not show that their mouth gets big when they smile. Yeah, yeah, they, that's, they gotta, that's bad in Chinese culture. Very yeah, exactly. Japanese. Whatever. I mean, they're they're different. But so it's that's incredibly sexist. Now what I'm, a, now what I'm a, a racist for not knowing <laughs> the difference. What a misogynistic. Device. What a misogynistic cooling device a fan it must be oh, if God. it's used to block the face of a poor, oppressed woman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh. And, and, and another thing. We have to use fans. What about like a radiator fan for a car? You know what that you know what that's a reminder of that to me? That's a constant reminder that of the limitations of the human race. We're so fucking limited in our engineering abilities that we can't build an efficient enough engine to where it doesn't produce heat. Too much heat to you overheat. Know what? <laughs> you try having thousands of explosions inside of you per minute and tell me you don't Not get my hot. problem. Not my problem. I don't care. Well, look, look at a Tesla. A Tesla has an electric motor. They don't have to. Uh, sitting at a stoplight. I guarantee light, there's some degree of cooling on st- them. Sitting at a stop. Yeah, they have heat sinks. Yeah. They have heat sinks. Yeah, See, yeah, so yeah. They'll oh, sit, yeah, sitting at a stoplight, sitting at a stoplight, not exerting any energy to move forward. A Tesla won't overheat. They don't need a fan. But correct me if I'm wrong. I, I could be completely wrong about this. I, I'm not a Tesla expert. I'm but, pretty sure they no, break you, down in the desert, though. But for the sake of an argument, though, it's a, a fan is not only symbolic of women's oppression, of shitty smelling bathrooms. It is also a symbol of the limits of. The limits of the of the human race, but Mantis, you, you talking about the, the like the radiator fans for a car? It backs up my point. It those are mainly used when you're, you know, I, I don't want to get too technical into cars here, but I know a thing or two. And if you're if you're going down the road at highway speeds, you have sixty mile per hour end hitting wind hitting your radiator, cooling it down. When you come to a dead stop stagnant air happens and you have to have that fan to push the air on it because stagnant air is hotter than moving air even if the air it's moving is in fact hot i don't know how it works i i'm not a scientist and i don't know why that's a thing but regardless this fan we should have come up with something better. there's got to be something there's got to be something better by now yeah i've said it before and i'll say it again they can cut your ass off and they can make you a new face out of it (laughs) <laughs> why, yeah, why, pretty much. Why, why haven't we figured out something as simple as thermodynamics yet? Yeah, <laughs> it it's just got to the point to where it's ridiculous, and it makes me. I, I wish that I could enjoy things, and I could think about things like normal fucking people, and I can just enjoy a fan. But a fan, as well, what an invention it is that it, it it's not a standalone revolutionary device. It, it can't function well without. All these super specific circumstances, maybe it's cool outside and you're blowing cooler air in your house. It it can't function without the assistance of an air conditioner and be effective. There's there's got to be something better. I'm not I'm not an engineer, so I don't have any proposal on how we fix this. See, normally, normally by the end of this segment, I have come up with some revolutionary idea, maybe ridiculous, maybe not for how we can improve it. But I, I think. Fans have kind of gone as far as they can go. I, we air right. condition. You, you said it. Air conditioning. air conditioning. They figured out. Oh, this fan's pushing around hot air. Let's put a freon pump. You know all that. How it works. Let's put that behind it. It'll push out cold. I'm not. Air. Look. Look. I'm not. Where saying, can you go from there? I, I'm just saying that. Like fan a, giant, a fan. a giant pipe coming straight from the fucking Arctic Circle, just pumping negative forty degree house through air through your house through your fan. 
Preferably along yeah. with some along with some nice well, crude then we'll, oil. Then we'll have pipes running everywhere. And just have one from the desert whenever it gets really cold in your house. And just like whoosh, let all the hot air in. Or you could build a fire. <laughs> no, no, but we're everything is we're, pipes we're now. We're way beyond that right now. Everything you, is pipes you now. You could put the fan in front of the fire. That's anyway, how the internet works. Anyway, it's all pipes. It's it's all pipes. <laughs> my pipes right now, me as a me as a human, my pipes right now. I've I've drank I've drank a lot of beer tonight. His Man, pipes are chemical burned. My my pipes are chemical burned and I keep burping and I just can't every time you guys go to talk, I'm like I'm I'm reaching over and I'm doing the Tazon day, the chocolate rain burping off to the yeah. side. I move, I move away from the mic to breathe. Yeah, I have to move away to the mic so you don't have to hear my my disturbing belches. <laughs> <laughs> that's a word you know y- y'all have heard me talk a, a lot off there this is off subject but off the air you know off the podcast about how i just how i look at words i i look at words like we us three you know look at mansplaining you just think of them in a different way i hate the word belch that's just i don't like it well i'll yeah. i'll make sure to use it frequently <laughs> and that's usually how that works <laughs> uh so, anyways, Doc, what do you you got something for me today? What do you I, got? I do. I, I have something special today. Uh, how I want to start off? I got a couple things for y'all today. I want to start off in carrying on a great tradition here at the Mantis Show. The great tradition is um, me and Mantis take times out of our busy lives to go and find, scour the the treasures that people have deemed worthy. Of selling, Doug is and we, resting we present- his face on the <laughs> microphone. <laughs> if we give them to Box, because Box loves our gifts, he will never admit to me. He always he he acts bothered by them, but they're great gifts. He, has an, he has an appreciation for the the the. You know, there's some people they say I have an appreciation for the finer things in life. Well, Box has an appreciation for the for, terrible things for, <laughs> for the most useless, terrible, awful things. I do not. If this is the first time you're listening, um, a couple weeks ago, we started off, um, Mantis got him a four foot tall by about three foot wide Kramer versus Kramer poster. Uh, and then, you know, it was like, ah, oh, can we top that? Can we get some, something? Is worse there anything more useless? And Mantis goes out and he finds an empty golden replica of United States. Postal stamps or whatever it was, an empty it's leather like a bound collection book. It's like a collection yeah, book, but and nothing in it. There's and nothing it, in it. No <laughs> rings to hold anything. And again, we thought, can we top this? And I had something in mind, and I, I scoured the we're, depths. We're, we're going to put that in the back pocket. His other I, had, thing I scoured the depths of the thrift world, but I'm fine. I didn't find it, but that's fine because I found the new standard of the gifts in which you will be receiving box. Are you excited, box? Come on, Box. Yeah. No. <laughs> on, All right, box. you ready? I got it here in this bag. Give me. I'll give him just a second. Fuck. He's gonna reach down. He's got him. A, uh, he's got him a little grocery yeah, store bag. To it. The standard. The standard gift wrapping that Box right. has with. I his, was informed right, this week. I wanted to change it up a little bit. I, I thought it was a little unfair for Box to be getting all the gifts. So I, I got Mantis a little something yes! too. Yes. Um, so Mantis, look away so I can pull it out of this bag. Okay, I'm closing my eyes. You too, Box. Ah, I'm, I'm closing my eyes. And okay. I'm hoping when I open my so, eyes, there's not all right, going you, to be. You can open it. I'm going to give Box his first in oh, tradition. Oh, wonderful. Here, it's in this bag. You can have that. That's so noisy. Oh, oh God. Wonderful. A- hey, hey, Box, how about you give us an unboxing, a play-by-play here? What, what do you see in there, buddy? It's a goddamn Sears book. Oh, wonderful! Oh, it's got look. It has a wonderful. <laughs> it's a it has a one. Oh, it's a it Sears is, catalog. It's a Sears catalog from 1992. Box. It, oh, none oh. of these items exist anymore. How how neat, box. Look, look at the look. Now, oh, now, whenever night. now, you, when you go shopping at thrift store, when you go shopping at thrift stores, you'll know what fashion was like in the nineties. Yeah, in, in box, I did this because let's just say oh, I have I have no. it in good. Oh my god, that's so. Bad. I have <laughs> I have what it in good fuck? with what a fashion you? expert that the nineties are coming back. That the style's coming back, and It'll you're gonna never be ready. Box, people no. didn't match with anything. Exactly, bring it back, coming baby. Back. Bring it back. In box, you're gonna be ready. You have a catalog for. Hey, you're gonna be on the forefront. The hipster forefront of of the high waisted shorts and the 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 flannels. Those already and, came back. See, yeah, I told you. Yeah, look, look, you're you're two steps ahead. You're two steps ahead already. There's cattle. Where did why would someone <laughs> give that to a, a, a thrift? Why? Who? Why would they think? 
think they could get money for that? Probably because they listen to the fucking podcast. That's almost as bad. That's that's worse. They're like, they're like oh, I'm going to give this fucking piece of shit into this fucking <laughs> flea market. I already know the people from the Mantis show will buy it and fucking give it to Box. So, so Box, where, where are you going to put that in your house? <laughs> what are you going to? In my shelf. fireplace. You better, <laughs> I'm going to put it in my fireplace. I hope you have one of those retro fireplace transitioned into a bookshelf conversions that that like something you'd see on hgtv is it like some trendy little thing you've you've done or are you talking about you there's no because i know you're not about to burn that because that's 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 priceless that's that's gonna be an antique here it has a price tag on it i mean i'm just gonna i'm just gonna set it i'm just gonna set it at the bottom of it here's the deal you know if something were to happen or do something as per usual, there are multiple ones there, and I will go back and buy the rest for you. Hey, there, there's always multiple. There's copies. always. I'll find them. There's always a way. I'll find them from the 80s, the 70s. Oh yeah, I yeah. Mean, at those least those might actually be. At, at least, least you were born in that decade. At least you can somewhat relate to the uh, to, to the fashion sense uh, that these people uphold. God. So. As I, as I continued for my search for this particular item, he, hold on before before we continue, I just think it'd be necessary if I'm gonna I'm gonna look at a couple items in this real quick. Just just give you guys a gist of what's some of the stuff that's in here. Let's see, let's flip through some of these pages. Oh, wonderful! We have a we have that old school floral pattern out, <laughs> outdoor outdoor yeah, patio that. furniture. Apparently, that was popular in the nineties. Oh, how oh, how God. wonderful! So so in third, you know, in after a year, you can after you order this in a year, it'll look like the floral pattern. It's like a hundred years old. It's faded from the sun. It'll be it'll look. Yeah. Like, Box, I challenge you to contact Sears and see if you can get any of those items. Oh, get some guitars. Oh oh, and look. To match it, we have a floral pattern couch, uh, couch and love seat oh, combo. Fuck. Oh, that, that's oh, beautiful. That's oh, okay. man. Okay, I've had enough. Oh, I've had yeah. enough of that. So, what, what were you? Catalog. Sorry, what, <laughs> where uh, were you going? What were you saying, Doc? So, apparently, after I found that, I was feeling nostalgic back to the 90s, also the decade that I was born. So, I saw something else that caught my eye, and it just. I saw Mantis's name on it. Just, okay. I felt like it was his, and I'd like to go ahead and present that to him now. If you can just grab that for me. Oh God, no! I don't even <laughs> want to. The back. back I kind of like this. It's a Backstreet Boys. Oh, the CD. best parts inside. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> I was excited. No, There's I was like, you know what? It. I was like, you know what? This is not a bad gift. You gave me a Backstreet Boys CD. You know what? There are worse CDs you could have given me. I mean, this has got. Let's see. But there's no CD. In as it. long as you love me is on here. Uh, I'll let's see. I'll never break your heart. I don't know if I, I don't know all. These. Get down and then there's oh everybody that's on here. I mean. I was I was genuinely like, you know what? At least it's well, not. At a, least you have a. At you least can it's use not a that. Sears catalog. But then I opened it up and it's completely fucking. It. Who gives? Who gives two dollars? Two dollars for an empty CD case? Talk yes, about a cap. It. Look at talk this. about an incarnation Look of capitalism. The- Selling something that is a non-product, something that doesn't deliver. What? <laughs> that's like selling a box of cereal that's With already no been cereal. eaten. It's already yeah. been eaten. Like oh what the? Oh my f- god! That's that's the wonderful things. Mother you find f- at mother stores. fuck, dude. Why did I, why why was this trend? This is awful. I, I feel awful. I don't. You know what box? You want this? No. <laughs> no. Don't, don't go giving away my gifts, hey, man. No. Just, you know what? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a regifter. I'm not a regifter. I'm not. How I'm not come gonna, you gave him the smaller gift? You know I keep what? on getting these hey, big you know what? ass I'm, fucking things. I'm appreciative. I'm appreciative that yeah, I was. Yeah, see, Mantis, look. You know what? They, hey, you spent $2 Box, you on could, this. You could learn a thing or two from, from Mantis' gratefulness. Yeah, you know, I'm I'm very grateful. You know, I'm glad. I'm <laughs> glad it doesn't have the CD Heavy in there. breathing. <laughs> because, because it's giving me the, you know, it's making me think. This is a little trick. This is a little trick. This is what Doc does to you. He tries to, he tries to tune up your brain muscles and be like, you know what? I'm gonna get him thinking of the Backstreet Boys. And then I'm gonna get his. I'm gonna get his creativity going. I'm gonna get him, get him thinking about you know trying to remember the songs, reconnect some of those old neurons because he knows that I'm notorious that I've lo- I've I have forgotten more things than most people have ever known. And he's trying to help me regain that. But yeah, thank you, exactly thank you, I, Doc. I think, Same for you, Box. You know, I, I, I think I need to call remember. like a hotline for bullying. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think that's what I, it's gonna come down to. 
Oh God, no! Oh, no. you know what? After you know what, <laughs> we've got this. We've got this this bullying hotline. But you know what, guys? I, there's been something. Everybody, listeners, I've been trying to do this segment for three weeks now. Okay. Do we finally get to know? Three weeks now. I have something hidden in this little like Beats Beats headphone case. Okay, this little zipped up headphone case. I have something that's been hidden in this for three weeks. I forget at the end of every episode or two weeks, whatever, whatever. I forget every single week to open this and to show what's inside of it. And at the risk of of overhyping this, it has been overhyped among I've, my I've lost sleep over this. It, my co-hosts have lost sleep over this this segment, this little bit. It's just a stupid little segment. But it's not even anything that special. Tell them what just tell them, tell them what it is. No, tell I me think, what think, it is. Think you might wait till next week. Yeah, I swear no, to God. You no, no, okay. Not. So it's been too long already. So it's something that I, at the end of or near the end of every episode, I, it's something that I want to do every week. It's just a little thing. We're just gonna try. Okay, we're just gonna try a little little. Little little snacky. Okay, I got us all a little snacky. Oh boy. Something we're gonna we're gonna test. We're gonna taste test this. I hope it's non perishable. It's been three weeks. Hear that? Rattly. Jelly oh, belly no. bean boozled oh, no. bitches. Oh my You've all heard God. of it. It's nothing. I've done it. Oh. oh yes. Guess what, guys? We're gonna play a fucking <sighs> Russian roulette on the Mantis show. No. We're gonna go through every oh, week. Damn it. We're each going to get, you know what? I may even up the ante. I was going to say, I was going to be generous and I was going to say, we're going to do one bean an episode, but you know what? I think since it's been put off for two, two prior episodes, how about we do three this episode and then we do one from now on. Just, just to up the odds a little bit, to up the Mm. chances that you might, puking warning, you might get a dead fish flavored or maybe a rotten egg or spoiled milk, or maybe you'll get lucky and get a tutti frutti. Or maybe you'll get really unlucky, get a sticky socks. At least there's not a vomit in there. Box, I'm starting to understand how you feel about your gifts. Exactly. This is how I feel every fucking episode. (laughs) Oh. Oh. You know, if I had a sense of smell right now and I wasn't, like, fucked up because of the chlorine gas and my nose wasn't stopped up, I bet these jelly beans smell just fucking terrible. (laughs) <laughs> all right I, so i've done uh, these and literally i mean if it says it tastes like something it fucking oh and guess like what that. guess what on the mantis show since since there's beer since we all three have a beer in front of us you have no excuse but to swallow the bean completely chew it up completely <laughs> eat it and swallow it and then then after you savor the taste savor the flavors the little nuances that Jelly Belly has worked so vigorously to bring to your table. Why, why do they? You can do then that? you can understand. then rinse it down with a nice. Little I don't gulp understand of beer. why they're like, oh yeah, people will like a game where you hey, look. It could it could be cherry limeade or it could be baby shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Yeah. Who wants to? Horse wants come to... today, people. Come on, God. All right. You know what? You know what? I think uh, Box has got his hand out. He's being a fucking trooper. Let's get. Yeah, let's get I'll him. Let's get it over with. Let's yeah. Get, oh, yeah. I just dropped one. I'll eat that one. Good. No. <laughs> it's floor flavored now. It's floor flavored. Maybe that'll take away. It from probably stuff. was floor Here. flavored from the. You've got go. three box. You've I don't got like three. these colors. Oh, you've got three, Doc, mm. and then I have. I three. really don't like these colors. These are not I, good I colors. I already know what one of these oh, is. Oh, you son of a bitch. You get the good looking he colors. I picked. got fucking floor one. I just picked it out of there. You watch me, you son of a bitch. Listen, okay. <laughs> all right, we're all three going to... You eat one, then you eat one, then I eat one. Okay. All and right. do we got to say what we think it is or something? Or No, you're just going to fucking beam the shit through your brains to the listeners' heads. Yeah, of course you're going to tell them. <laughs> okay. Go. <laughs> You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna tongue kiss them through the internet and let them taste it out of your mouth. Oh yeah, that looks like it doesn't taste good. What is it? What mm. color was it? What color was it? That's what I should have asked oh, first. Oh, yellow. God. Yellow. So it's either buttered popcorn or rotten egg. So it's gonna taste like shit either way. I think it was a rotten egg. Oh, lovely. All right, Doc, get it. Get no, it, Doc. I'm going for the. All right, what color is it first? What color is creamy it? Creamy white. Creamy white. It's either going to be spoiled milk. Oh, God it says it's new it. or coconut. Please be coconut. <laughs> Bruh. That's, <laughs> that's awful. Oh, you better fucking chew it. I can't. Trooper, do, if you don't, so uh, It literally don't. tastes like. So help me God. Oh, my so God. Swallow it. Swallow it. Just swallow no. it. Don't chew it anymore. Swallow it. 
That's no. what I did. I no, beer. Well, I said you could only wash it down with beer. I don't have a beer. Here, take your drinking boxes. No, I got body armor. Okay, drink it. Oh. All right, so that's two for two. Spoil milk and Ron Nag. God damn it, dude. Mine's either... Ugh. Okay, yeah, here's a gross one. Mine's either blueberry berry blue... Or toothpaste. Ooh, God, I, I hope... Oh, I hope you I son of a bitch. Oh, oh, that's definitely Barry Blue. Oh. Oh, you fucking asshole. Oh, man. God, I really lucked out of that one, huh? Okay, box. What, what, what color's yours? Uh, it's kind of a pinkish peach. All right, so that's either dead fish or strawberry banana <laughs> smoothie. The dead fish is new, so you should be excited. No. Oh, no. Are you fucking kidding me? I swear all of these are horrible. They Okay, let's just get over with. <laughs> Dead fish! Oh, Dead my fish! God. Obviously the, the grimace. The grimace. Well, you don't you don't like it? You don't like Dead Fish Box? Oh yes. Oh my god. You got a beer, buddy. After you say after I'm sure you've savored the taste, you're more than welcome to wash it down. Oh my god, that <laughs> one's really bad. The spoiled milk was not great. So oh, okay, Doc. What it's color? It's stuck in my teeth. Uh, I got I got purple. Purple. Okay. That is either canned dog food or chocolate pudding. Bro, I can smell it. It's it's fucking dog food. Okay, let's let's Yeah, that's dog food. <laughs> oh, let's Okay. Uh, oh, oh, it tastes like Alpo. Oh, oh God! God. Yeah. You tasted Alpo? I guess uh, you, you can smell it. And you know what it tastes like. Okay, so mine's either mine's like a yellowish color. I think mine may be mine may be the same one Ugh. as Doc's. It's either rotten egg and buttered popcorn or moldy cheese and caramel corn, caramel corn, depending on how you fucking say it. I don't. You care. mean box? You said Doc? Yeah. What? What? What, <laughs> what I say? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh, fucking. Oh. It's oh. bad, isn't it's it? It's moldy cheese. Oh. Oh. I mean. Why do people enjoy this? I mean. Mm. This next one, I don't feel good oh, about. Oh, god damn. This next That's one. That's why. There's going to be spoiled milk, and if it's coconut, I'm oh. going to come across this table and slap no, you. it's not. <laughs> oh, my it's god. Why, do, why, do, why, why did I do this segment? This is terrible. Uh. I know this one isn't good. Oh, just go. Okay, it's either spoiled milk or coconut again. Let's go. It's it's spoiled milk. I already know. Oh, why? That's two for two for you. That's three for three for you. Yeah. Yeah, oh. spoiled milk's rough. Okay, your eyes are about to pop out of your head. So you need to blink. Mm. I don't I don't understand. What, like, Who made this game? Who designed this segment, Doc? <sighs> Oh my god! Oh, he's going. Like, so he's drooling. Bad. He's drooling. That, I'm terrified of this one, man. Okay, what color? It's yellow speckly. Oh, it's gonna. Yeah. Okay, this one, the yellow speckly, is the. Uh, it's the moldy cheese or caramel corn. Okay, that's the same. Yay. one. Yay! Oh, let's let's hope you get the. <laughs> let's hope you get the caramel. Add moldy cheese. Oh, oh lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god! That's actually, you know. They really captured the taste of mold in it. Yeah, they, they get the, really the powdery, the like powdery kind of uh, spory taste that yeah. you get. If I get fucking some fungus growing, I'm suing them. Oh, and I, I guess last, last is me. It's either going to be lime or, oh wait, no. Okay, I was hoping it was going to be lime or lawn clippings, but it's booger or juicy pear. <laughs> I've never eaten a booger, so I don't know what a booger is supposed to you taste like. You were a kid like. once you've eaten a booger, be honest. Look, since the, I can remember <laughs> from the time I was three on, day by day, okay, and I've never eaten a fucking booger. I've always been so repulsed by it. I had a friend one time, a really good friend of mine, when I was a kid that ate a booger, and I never talked to him ever again. <laughs> he was over at my house whenever he ate the bo- the said oh, booger. Oh, no. Here we go. Oh, oh. Okay, it had a really bad taste at first. That's juicy pear. That's oh, pears. he got two of the good ones. Yeah. Go no. fuck yourself. Um, cherry man, pears. I, I guess the light shines on a dog's asshole every once in a while, right? Well, oh. I feel like I still taste like I've licked a dog's asshole. Mm. It tastes like man. fucking Alpo and dog fart. Well, look, luckily for you guys, 
I've got two boxes of these. Let's no. I've got the third and fourth edition. That was the fourth edition flavors. The third edition flavors. Oh, they got skunk spray and licorice. No, in dude. No. That's, so that's two bad flavors. Take the skunk. I swear to God, if I get the skunk one, I've, it's happened to me once and I threw up. Okay, so they, I have a strong well, stomach well, luckily, and I threw luckily up. Luckily for you, they have a barf flavor in the Yeah, that one's edition. rough too. <laughs> They're yeah. all bad. They're all so Oh, they have horrible. a baby wipes in this one. Man, well, you guys, like, I guess you guys wouldn't horse. believe how bad the well, fucking guess, dead fish thing Oh, I guarantee it. Well, guess, well, guess what, fellas? We've got we've got two whole boxes. Yeah. We're not we're not going through them. Oh, oh, to hell we are. Okay, no. listen, we we are going we're going to fucking trooper if I, if we've got to eat this entire box all at the same time. It's it's going to happen. Oh my god. Oh. No. Anyways, enough of this. I need to cleanse my palate of this disgusting dirty shit. Doc, you you please tell me you have something else. Yeah, I got I got something else here. Um don't worry, box, you're not getting any more terrible gifts. Thank you. This one it's um you know, we're we're, we're still in the beginning stages. We're still you know, coming up with a lot of new ideas, still, still establishing segments and everything. So I got a new segment for this this week. It's it's actually if if you were listening last week, you heard me kind of drop the word, and I've just it it rung out to me. I was like, you know, th- this this is how I feel towards a lot of things. It's it's kind of like mansplaining, but in mansplaining, we come up, we talk about things and how could they how they could be improved and and where their shortcoming. Um, there's it, there's a rationale behind yeah. it all, you know. There's this a, one. It, there's no rationale behind it. I just fucking hate it, and it's I'm, I'm calling it the bane of my existence. Something that's so bad. It's not just something that pisses you off. Just, oh, that's kind of frustrating. I, I'm I'm using that word bane of my existence. Something that just causes me so much frustration and rage in my you know somewhat daily life. That I, I feel the need so, somewhat daily, somewhat daily life. Uh, maybe, <laughs> maybe I don't encounter it every day, but when I, I only do, have a half a day life. <laughs> I live for half the day. So <laughs> I, I got a picture of it because I mean, it, it would be hard to describe otherwise. So you all have used the uh, public restrooms, rather be at work, restaurants, yeah, gas stations, what have you. Yeah, unfortunately, paper towel dispensers. There's one out there. Some of them are decent. You know, the ones where you grab the little handle. It might not be the most sanitary option, but you grab the little handle and it just shoots it out. That, that's fine. That's that's easy to use. The ones where you just electric and you wave your hand underneath it. That's sanitary. It's usually functional. Yeah. But then there leaves this one and it's the most common one and it pisses me off so much because it never fucking works right. It's this motherfucker right here. Oh, it's the it's the oh uh, the one on the it's the, the, it's the semi Matic. yeah it's the semi it's like if you had a oh gun if you had a gun and you had to cock the gun every single time no or the if the very action of your gun you know if if you if you've ever shot a gun you shoot the gun the slide comes back and it automatically cocks itself in a semi automatic weapon right well this is the semi automatic weapon. Uh, yeah, the so semi-automatic semi- towel, towel <laughs> the dispenser. semi-automatic paper towel dispenser where you grab it and you pull it down and another one's supposed to be ready, readily available to grab again. But you know what? Have you ever had one that worked for every... Because one, you know, those little bullshit like... It's basically just brown dyed copier paper that they put in these to dry your hands off yeah. with. So you have to grab three or four to dry your hands off. So... That first one, you might get lucky. It might come out all right, but you're not getting all three or four of those out no. of that machine, right? One of them's going to rip into fucking shreds every time, and it just, ugh, it puts me in such a, just a negative place in my mind. It yeah, pisses or me sometimes, off. sometimes, even worse, if your hands are too saturated with water, and you go to grab the first one, and your thumbs soak the water in it so fast that you just rip out two little That's thumbs. That's what I'm saying. It just yeah. 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 And look, yeah. look, it, on the motherfucker, even get, it gives you... It Instructions on how to use it, and you know what? That see, see the part. Yeah, yeah. There's, yeah. It, yeah, it shows a little it like diagram. That, a if little. If you use it like that, it's got a little thing. It's got an arrow pointing down. It's got like they're grabbing the two corners and, and showing to pull it down. But in my experience. That doesn't work. Yeah, the guy no. might as well be pinching it between his ass yeah, cheeks. I've tried it <laughs> grabbing it from the center, from the sides, from the back. It doesn't fucking even, matter. Evenly it's going to rip. Yeah, evenly distributing the pinching, the the the, the pinching, uh, the, 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 the,
the amount of the, the force throughout the bottom of the, the entire paper it's towel. It's still going to rip. Yeah, yeah. You could you could literally put apply the same amount of pressure from corner still, to still corner, taste. from corner to fucking corner, and pull on it, and it would just rip off in a clean little fucking slice. Yeah. I still taste fucking dog food. Those me too, beans. man. Yeah, let me tell you what. Let, let me tell you what, man. There's nothing like like washing out a nasty, nasty ass moldy cheese jelly bean like a like a juicy pear one to follow it up. Nothing oh, washes it yourself. out like that. Right, Go so, fuck yourself. Real quick, wanted to ask. Cause I, I'm sure I, I'm I'm not the only one who feels this way towards me. Not the only one who has beans. Box, do you have a bane of your existence? Yeah, Doc, you don't bitch about stuff enough. You called him Doc again. Man. Oh, it's God. Vox. Box. His okay. brain is... In, it's <laughs> too, too the chlorine many. has the gotten chlorine. into his brain. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, yeah. But Box, you don't, you don't, don't bitch have, about stuff enough. You need to bitch more. I don't really ha- I don't really bitch about a whole lot of things, but, I mean, I, I, I guess this week, like, I, I have... I have more of, like, something that I don't understand. Like, why is this so complicated? And it's oh. something that we just recently had to do. Okay. Like, passwords. Why? Passwords. Why are they the way that they are? Because, like, you, you can't just do something where it's like, oh, I'm just going to make up a word and then, like, put a number on it. And it's like the the little automatic thing that says, like, if your password's too strong or, you know, yeah, or it's why, weak or why whatever. Is it, and there's, there's no standard. I understand what you're saying. There, and there's no, like, standard across platforms either. I've noticed that some websites I won't be able to remember the password for because they'll require a capital exactly. letter. They, they require, like, two capital letters or and then, like, and then some, some don't. weird some don't. symbol and or something. And it's like, I'm not always consistent. I don't like to use the capital letters because... They, it's just, I, you know, it's just one more thing you got to fucking remember. So, so who's going to, who's going to guess Scooby-Doo one, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, 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 one. Who's going to fucking guess that? Okay. Exactly. Box. So like I have to, uh, I have to create like a fucking list of just passwords for things that I use all over the place. And none of them are exactly the same. Like some of them are, are similar, but like some of them are like, I'll be like, okay, I'll use this for like. My social media. And then this one I'll use for like my important stuff. They're they're all over the fucking place. And I, I have this long ass all, fucking all sorts scroll. Of likes. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm really passionate about this one. But like I have a scroll. A scroll of, of passwords. Yeah, I've I've got the same one. I've got one of those. I keep one of those on my cell phone. I've got my I've got my ancient scroll, my art of of internet security that I keep rolled up in my pocket. It's too much to keep up with. You know, they've got those apps. They have those apps to where it's a it's a password keeper. It's a password keeper. You can download the app, but under the permissions, of course, like every other app, it's like, hey, we need to know your dick size before. Yeah. But and and you know, in, in the description of it, it just says we are not the NSA. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, <laughs> we we're not Russia. Don't worry. We won't use this to steal your identity and import spies. To, I, to I, we they just you know I'm not for government regulation, but can we just get a standard? Yeah, let's let's a, get a, a standard. standard saying like okay, we can we can put like the okay. passwords like this. You know, maybe one capital letter, one yeah. one number, and that's the minimum. But no, there's some that's like. Oh, we got to we got to put an at symbol in there and a hashtag in a space, an empty space. We yeah. add, add an empty space and alongside that you need to put in a gif. You need to have a yeah. gif alongside it. And for those 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 idiots, a gif. Those the uh, stupid people that don't, don't know how to pronounce don't say it. say gif. <laughs> but, <laughs> oh. But yeah, that's that's the thing. That's the thing that's been bothering me. Well, I'm sure you'll feel much better once you get home and get a good night's rest and you wake up to see that Sears catalog right next to your Kramer versus Kramer poster. <laughs> oh, anyways, uh, there's something that I, I didn't mention last week cause it wasn't a 100% for sure thing, but I'm sure you guys noticed that episode one, we had an extra member, uh, our beloved Jake flavor. He's uh he's dead. No, just, <laughs> just kidding. That, that escalated quickly. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, just want to say thanks to Jake. He he wasn't able to do the show with us, but we wish him the best of luck with all of his endeavors and hope to maybe, you know, someday uh, maybe have him back on as a guest or something. And, you know, he's, he's going to keep up with our progress. He's wishing us the best of luck as well. And also, I want to give a huge, huge, massive shout out 
to two guys. One, first guy, Waterboy. Thank you, Waterboy, so much for our intro. And that is W-A-U-T-E-R-B-O-I. Waterboy, you are fantastic. Everybody, check out uh, his SoundCloud page and as well as his Bandcamp. Buy his new album. It's amazing. It's fantastic. The dude is insanely talented. I'd also like to give a huge thank you to the artist behind our our cover art, our thumbnail and everything. It's a, it's a buddy of mine. His name's Chad. I want to say thank you so much. And you have been listening to The Mantis Show with Box and Doc and me, Mantis. Check us out on SoundCloud, soundcloud.com forward slash The Mantis Show. And follow us on Twitter at The Mantis Show. See you guys next week.